Hello, my name is Willa Latham and I love antique porcelain. In a previous episode, I told you about British blue and white transfer wear and how it was made. And I promised that I would tell you more about the very famous willow pattern. So here I have four willow pattern plates. Um, the willow pattern was invented by Josiah Spode. Um, now, actually, these plates were not made by Spode. They were made by a contemporary um, a potter in Wales called Dylan. But the willow pattern got so famous that everybody started making it. Now, how did the willow pattern come about? Um, as I explained in my last episode, um, people started putting together all sorts of Chinese elements into designs that they liked. Um, and there were trees and pagodas and birds and boats and people running around. And um, Josiah Spode thought, well, that's all very nice, but everybody just makes it up. I want to make my own very special pattern that I can just reproduce and reproduce and reproduce in the tens of thousands. Um, so he got his draftsman to create a very pleasing pattern with a pagoda and a bridge with people running over it and some birds and a boat and a nice fence in the foreground. And um, it's a very pleasing picture. But then Spode felt, well, it's not quite enough. I really wanted to have a story so that people can recognize the story and it will speak to people's imagination. And once people know about it, everybody will want to have it. So it needs to be a romantic story that pulls on your heartstrings. So they came up with this story. Um, and I'll tell you about the story here. So the story goes like this. Let me put this here. Um, there is a princess who lives here with her horrible, oppressive, angry father. And the princess and her lover elope. They run over the bridge here, pursued by the father, waving a big stick, trying to catch them. But they escape in a little boat and they sail off to a nearby city. And they live a very, very happy life in the city for many years. Um, but ultimately, the father catches up with them and he captures them. And sadly, he brings them back to the pagoda and he holds them hostage or prisoner in the basement of the pagoda. And that's ultimately where they die. It's a very sad story. But then it has a happy ending because when they die, their spirits break free and they become these birds flying through the sky in ultimate freedom forever and ever, while the father dies in absolute agony over what he's done. So it's a beautiful story. It pulls on your heartstrings. You'll never forget it. And everybody wanted willow wear and they still print it today. It's still very popular. Now, another interesting thing about this is um, the way this was made. So they would make one metal etching and that was transferred via a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper with two willow pattern things. And those were used for uh, little saucers. Uh, and then that could be used up to 40,000 times. Of course, the more you use that etching, the more it became a little bit blurry. And you can see how new or old the etching was from the, 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 the quality of the plate. And here, for instance, I have two plates from the same set made by the same potter. And they're a little bit different because you can see one of them is much sharper and the other one is more blurry. One of them is darker, the other one is lighter. And also one of them is very even in the way it's printed. While this one is uneven, it's, it's got patches that didn't really come through because the plate was old. So this one would have been sold a little bit cheaper than that one. So that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, here's another smaller one that just has a slightly different color. And it's very normal to find one set of plates with slightly different colors because the color wasn't always going to come out the same. It depended on the temperature of the kiln. And the kilns were fired on coal with just fires, open fires. So you can imagine it was never quite the same temperature. And also people would add to their sets during their lives. They would break a plate and then buy a new one. And of course it would be a little bit different. 
So that's entirely normal. In those days, things weren't all standardized the way you get them now at IKEA when you buy them. Everything is the same. So anyway, this is the story about the willow pattern. Very, very famous, made nowadays the world over. I hope you enjoyed this. You can find me at gentlerattleofchina.com and keep watching.